It's time for a mailbag. There's not much this month. I've been opening stuff as it survived, but there's a few interesting things to look at. So the first thing we have is a Wio terminal from Seed Studios. So let's have a look at this. I'll probably do a video on this uh, later and look at it in depth, but let's see what's in the box. It's a bit smaller than I expected, but it comes with a cable, a thing, I'm not sure what that is, and some instructions. So, very interesting, a user manual, uh, some stickers, let's have a look at the actual device. Yeah, that looks nice. Oh, that's for a button. Okay, interesting. Let's peel off the plastic. Nice. And try turning it on. It's probably flat or oh, needs plugging in. Let's uh, let's try plugging it in and see what happens. It's a very short cable. One moment, please. Okay, left button to continue. Three, two, one, go. Oh, so <laughs> there's a little game. Interesting. Which button jumps? Okay, well, we'll play with this in a, another video, but um, that's quite a nice display and it's quite a nice little bit of kit. So it's got an extension thing which is compatible with a Raspberry Pi, I believe. I think that's correct. Um, have a look, yeah, Raspberry Pi 40 pin compatible and it has a Grove 2 connector. So it's got two of them, in fact. So that'd be nice to explore. We'll do a video on this in the future. Let's see what else we've got to unwrap. So we've got a box from China. Let's uh, see what's inside. It's uh, very well wrapped. Uh, I'm not sure where to actually start opening this. Um, let's try from this end. We've got a selection of stuff. Interesting. Um, Let's start with these smaller ones. Well, this one is just uh, bubble wrap, so that's not so interesting. Let's try this one. What's in this um, little package? Okay, so this is my replacement uh, TTGO display because my current one has died. So I thought I'd get another one just to um, carry on playing around with the TTGO display. So that's good. We can then um, do some more nice graphic stuff. So what's in the uh, slightly bigger box? Um, okay, so another e-paper display. This is a bigger one than my current one. Let me uh, one moment. So my my current e-paper display is acting as a weather station. So I thought I'd get a bigger one because um, this one's pretty nice, but it is a bit small. So this is a massive one. So that's, that's really nice. And I look forward to uh, upgrading the weather station or maybe doing something slightly more interesting with this one. So that's pretty good. Put that back in the, uh, in the nice box. What else have we got? I'm not sure what this is. Ah, it's the touch screen for the e-paper display. So maybe we'll make a... I'm kind of tempted to try and make an e-reader. That could be an interesting project. So that's a nice touch display. We'll do a video on this and work out how to connect it and how to drive it. So that should be really nice and interesting. So try not to squash this too much. Uh, 
and then finally it's a box from PCB Way. These are my new stereo amplifier boards. So I think we'll move to the workbench and try these out. They look pretty good. I'm quite pleased with that. I like the colour. And um, we'll test them out and see if I've done the PCB correctly. Let's get these boards soldered up. I've got some header pins. I'll add a bit of flux to get these soldered on. And I've got a couple of mini screw terminals, so we'll get these soldered on as well. Not a bad job, it's a bit wonky, but it's good enough. Comparing my stereo boards with the mono board from Adafruit, I'm pretty pleased. Let's get them tested. I flashed the ESP32 with the Bluetooth A to DP sync, so it will act as a Bluetooth speaker. And I've wired up a couple of speakers. Let's see if it works. Now obviously you can't hear the difference as my camera is only recording in mono, but it works really well. We'll do a project with these boards in a future video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.